Welcome to Electra Online. Anyone who lives in the Los Angeles area here in California understands that housing prices and rents on apartments have gone up tremendously and it's very, very expensive to find affordable housing. So what do people do? Well, they travel to where they can afford a place to live. And it turns out that there's some communities that are out in the desert away from the Los Angeles metropolitan area where houses are still relatively affordable, I wouldn't say inexpensive, but affordable, and that's why a lot of people have moved there. So here are three communities, Lancaster, Victorville, and Palmdale, which are about 60, 70 miles away from the Los Angeles area, so it's about a 100-kilometer commute one way, and a lot of people make that commute every single day because that's the only place where you can afford to buy a house. So what's happened to the population of those places? Well, in Lancaster, back in 1960, we had 26,000 people living there, and today it's over 173,000. And you can see the percent increases. From 1980 to 1990, the population of Lancaster essentially doubled. So there's seven times as many people living there now as they did in 1960. When we take a look at Victorville, it's even worse. In 1970, there were a little over 10,000 people living there, and now there's over 134,000 people. A 12-fold increase in the population, and notice that between 1980 and 1990, the population almost tripled in size in just 10 years. And then let's take a look at Palmdale. Palmdale started in 1970 with a population of 8,500 people, and now they're up to almost 170,000. That's a 20-fold increase in the population. And notice between 1980 and 1990, five times as many people just in 10 years. Imagine that boom of housing development in those towns. And that is the result of things being so expensive. And yet, in the summertime, it can easily be 100 degrees Fahrenheit in these places, and yet people flock to these places in droves due to the high expense of living here in the LA area. And so you can see that um, a lot of people move out to the desert, and that is why. So how many people increased in the LA area? So it turns out that the city of Los Angeles itself has been pretty static in population. Uh, if you go back 40, 50 years in the population today, there may have been a 10, 20% increase over that vast period of time. So yeah, it's very, very different. Why is the traffic so bad? Well, if you look at our, one of our previous videos, <laughs> there's a lot more cars. There really hasn't been any development of new freeways that we built the, the 105. There may be a lot more cars, but the cars are be driven by people. If there's only 20% of increase in people, then there should have only been you know, 20% more cars on the road. Yeah, but I don't think it's proportionate. Yeah, so even though the population itself hasn't grown that much in the LA metropolitan area, I think there's more people now that have cars than there used to be. So now there's almost one car per person where it used to be one car for every two people. I think that's where the problem comes in. You think uh, twice as many people are driving on the road, even though there's only 20% more people? A lot more people driving on the road, yeah. I don't know if it's quite twice as many, but there's a lot more. From what I can tell, any time I get on the freeway during rush hour, it's, it's insane. <laughs> And that's true, rush hour has gone into like eight hours, right? The rush hour starts at two, in two in the afternoon and ends at 10 in the evening, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. And those people, they, they travel, they work in the LA area, they travel a long ways every day. Matter of fact, if you drive in the opposite direction at five o'clock in the morning on the other side, the freeway is already almost bumper to bumper coming into the city. People leave very early in the morning to try and beat the traffic.